Hi third grade artists, today we're going to learn how to draw an ice cream sundae based on the art of Wayne Teabowd. Wayne Teabowd is an American painter who is still alive, he's 100 years old, who is known for painting his desserts and food and landscapes. So we're going to look at some of his artwork of sundaes and we're going to draw one together. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by drawing my ice cream sundae shape in the middle of the paper. So I'm going to draw a curved line like this. Okay, and I'm going to draw a curved line down here and a curved line down here and connect it. Underneath, I'm going to draw a curved line and a curved line. Connect it here and draw little bottom part. I'm going to draw curved lines here. And our ice cream sundae dish. Okay, and then I'm going to start in the middle by drawing some ice cream. I'm going to draw this shape with a curved line here. Another one here with a curved line. And one on the other side with a curved line. Okay, I'm going to add just a little edge here to close this up. Okay, and some curve line for frosting, topping, whatever you like on the top, and a little curve line here for some whipped cream. I'm also gonna draw a rectangle coming out of the top. I represent this delicious candy I sometimes see in the ice creams. And a cherry on top. Circle. A little curved, oops. line on top there. Okay, I'm also going to draw a line here for a table and on the other side to represent a table. And also I'm going to come down here and just draw a line that comes out like this to represent a shadow of our ice cream, like this. We'll color that in later. And I'm also going to draw a line that goes from the top to the bottom to make it look like there is a wall in the background. And I'm going to be creative and I'm going to add a window here. You don't have to do this. You can put whatever you want to be creative in the background. And over here, I'm gonna make a little sign. It says, ice cream. Okay, and my drawing is done. Now you can add sprinkles or any type of toppings you want to add on. I'm going to go and trace this in my black marker and I will be right back. Okay, so I traced everything in my black marker. I started coloring the ice cream dish. I did it gray and I did a little bit darker on this edge and I got a little bit lighter with the crayon as I got over here to just show that um, it's a shadow. Um, and now here I left this, I didn't trace it. So I'm going to do it with the black crayon and I'm just going to trace over the edge and I'm going to color it darker on this side and as it gets to the edge it's going to get lighter. Okay, there's our shadow. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. start coloring my delicious ice cream. I'm gonna start with yellow here. And you can be as creative as you want, add some toppings, whatever you like. Some frosting, some toppings. Maybe we got a couple of scoops on there. chocolate on this one and chocolate on this one. I'm going to leave the whipped cream white. It's not going to color that anything. And color my cherry. 
Dan Brown and my my candy, my chocolate candy brown. And then I'm gonna have whatever flavor this is underneath. This can actually be part of the container it's sitting in, whatever you want it to be. Just, you can make it colorful. And then I'm gonna color the background. I'm gonna do the table one color and the sides a different color. So I'm gonna actually do this with paint. So I'm gonna make my table blue. And I'm doing it with paint because it's quick. So whatever you have at home, if you wanna still use crayons, if you have paint, if you have markers, whatever you wanna use. it's sunny outside. I'm not going to draw anything specific in there right now. And I'll make this wall purple. And I'm putting the purple with the yellow. They are complementary colors. to be neat. I'm just kind of moving quick, so I'm getting outside of my lines here. Okay, and my other side, I think I'm going to do it orange. Sometimes I like my work to be very colorful. Green sign. I think I'm gonna do that green. Just light. Okay, so go ahead and start on your Sunday drawing. Don't forget to send me a picture. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Thanks. Bye bye.